I have the Intival K44 140 watt USB-C charger block here. This unit was sent to be by some folks partnering with the company in exchange for this video review. Now, I'm usually not a fan of these bulky chargers as they're almost always made super cheaply unless you're shelling out a bunch of money. This 140 watt charger block from Intival is actually pretty nice though. But again, you get what you pay for as this product is currently priced at just under $50. With that said, there are some other 140 watt charger blocks out there for a more affordable price. However, I suspect those will mostly be made of thin plastic. This unit here does have a plastic housing unit on all six sides, but at least it does feel solid. I have had USB docks in the past that have used a thin piece of plastic on the bottom base so that it can stand up like this. That is not included in this product, but as you can see, it doesn't really need it. Now, if you have a lot of cables plugged in and those cables are causing the device to lean, then naturally it could tip over. I have personally had this pressed up against the wall behind my desk and I haven't had any issues like that. So you can see here we have eight different charging ports. Four of them are USB-C and four of them are USB-A. The top two ports have the fastest charging speeds at 65 watts. Then we have two 20 watt USB-C charging port ports, followed by four different USB-A 18 watt charging ports. Now these pairs of ports actually share the 18 watt output though. So if you have two devices in this pair or two devices in this pair, and both of them are drawing the max that they're able to, then you'll see one charging at nine watts and the other charging at nine watts. And the same for these two as well. Now, if you just have one plugged in to one of these pairs, then it can get that full 18 watt charge. Now that you know about the charging speed for those ports, the company does advertise this as a 140 watt charging block. However, instead this unit is actually capable of putting out a total of 140 watts at a given time. And that's why we only see the fastest port here at 65 watts. The company boasts precision power allocation, which claims to deliver the exact power your device is able to take in. And they are also marketing a nanopulse monitoring technology, which promises to ensure instantaneous detection and advanced protection of the device that you have connected to it. I've been using this charging block for a bit now, a little over a week, and it's handled everything that I've thrown at it so far. I'm getting the advertised 65 watts of charging speed in these two top ports. And I'm using my Samsung Galaxy devices as a test, with each of them showing that they can be charged rapidly when the battery is low enough. The other ports have been holding up just fine as well. And there isn't much that I can say about a charging brick like this. But I can tell you that the advertised features actually work as described in my testing. The interval 140 watt USB-C charging block makes for a great travel charger since you don't have to carry around multiple of them just to keep all of your devices topped up. It's currently priced at right under $50 on Amazon, but it's listed at a 17% discount. From what I can gather, 
the company likes to keep that $50 price point and will just keep the 17% discount active for most of the month. So if you end up seeing the charging block with the full $59.99 price tag, then maybe it'll be best to wait a few days to see if the price drops back down.